So it, it seems the main problem is we don't agree. What you want, what I want, what 8 billion people want is very different. Uh, you kind of mentioned the simulation hypothesis. If we do manage to control the super intelligent uh, entity, perhaps all of us can get individual virtual universes where whatever you want happens in yours. You can have other agents in it, you can be alone, you can be king, you can be slave. It's up to you. Point is, it's customized and you don't have to negotiate with anyone. If you want to, you can. You can bring your friends, family, but the point is, we don't have to give up what we consider important to satisfy someone else. That's the only solution I found so far which allows for this uh, merger of human values. Everything else creates conflict. At best, you have to sacrifice. Okay. Somebody is atheist, somebody is religious, somebody is vegan, somebody likes barbecue. You cannot get all of them to follow the same rules and be happy. So if you create separate entities, separate universes, personalized universes for everyone, it becomes a possibility. And if you think we live in a simulation, perhaps this is already some experiment by another civilization in that direction. Uh, I mean, I'm sure many people that listen to this podcast, they don't know about uh, simulation theory. Would you like to elaborate a little bit on simulation theory? From your sure. Perspective? Uh, so it's a kind of scientific way of saying we live in a created world. So religion has been saying it for a while. This is a statistical argument. If we continue developing better and better video games, virtual worlds, at some point they will have very smart AIs in them, conscious AIs, and graphics will be amazing. And if many people play many video games, many such virtual worlds, how do you know if you are in the real world or in one of millions of those games? Statistically, it's more likely that you are in a game. And that's the argument that, in fact, in the future we'll do this and we are right now living in such a simulation. We are agents in that very realistic looking world.